Okay, what are my impressions of the Elite 6.5 uh, neck brace? Well, okay, first off, it was expensive and uh, for our piece of safety equipment, there are cheaper options. And I just think that there shouldn't be such a price barrier to get into this. Um, I think it's too expensive for what it is. Personally, I think everybody should have one and the price barrier to get into it shouldn't shouldn't be shouldn't be you know so high um, that being said uh, I, I picked this up for 450 bucks Canadian on sale the I can post a link on where I got it from below uh, this piece of equipment is something that I hope you or me will never need ultimately I think that's the way safety goes right like I personally like riding without a helmet gloves uh, and you know uh, I've seen helmets broken just um, just riding along flat ground I've crashed and broken full face helmets many times and uh, every time you know lifesaver right so hopefully don't ever need this I've done way too many crashes without one and hopefully I never need it. I've never broken a collarbone and um, I've taken some big, huge, mega falls. So call me lucky, call me like strong body type. I, I'm gonna go with the luck category and, um, and I'm just gonna say like, I'm so glad I got this thing. I don't think anybody, uh, if you're thinking about getting one, uh, it's time to get one. You know, if you're watching this video and you're going like, why, why spend the money? Um, Spend the money so that you you wear it um just like a full face though you're not gonna wear the full face all the time there's gonna be times you're not gonna wear it so you're going hey um i'm not gonna wear this that often it's gonna sit on my shelf just like my full face does i think having that option of having it on your shelf the barrier to wearing it is lower than having to wait a few days for it to show up in shipping miss that shipping and then come a couple days later like by that time maybe you're in a wheelchair so bring this with you when you go out and uh, you know wear it and a confidence boost yeah absolutely it's a confidence boost for me it was a fear like okay I'm gonna have this confidence boost and um, this is gonna make me go bigger than I want to go like I used to have double crown up front you know okay, nine inches of travel all around on my DH bike took big hits did big big crazy stuff without one of these um, now I'm a little bit older, I think the risk is still there. You can still have a life-altering injury of small stuff. And I personally like the challenge that uh, a smaller travel bike affords me. Like, you know, it's no longer a downhill couch. I'm, I'm taking these technical lines and I'm having to work to get through them. And I like that. Uh, it makes it a little less safe though. And so like this brings back that safety. And um, you know what? Accidents happen. And they're never when you're planning for them to happen. So wear one of these, stay on your bike for a lot longer than you end up. Quadriplegic. Some of my favorite riders in YouTube video, uh, you know, mentors, they, they've ended up in wheelchairs. So, you know, and there's people that never made it to be my mentors or YouTube video stars because they ended up in wheelchairs, broke their backs one way or another. Wear the gear, have fun. And uh, the science says that this is what um, what saves sex, saves your life ultimately. Because your brain tells your heart what to do. And your brain controls that heart through the nervous system that's in your neck. So when you break your neck, you end your life in so many cases. Uh, I know climbers, I know rock climbers personally that have uh, had falls doing things where they missed safety checks and they were professional climbers. Now they're quadriplegic for life. I mean, they make some really cool bikes and tech out there for quadriplegic and the future is bright when it comes to Neuralink and Elon Musk, but damn it, like there's just nothing better than your spinal cord. <laughs> Otherwise it would be in us because we have millions of years of evolution saying like, this is what keeps you speedy and this is what keeps you lightweight. 
and you don't have to recharge batteries on this. Like, just just take care of your body, and your body lets you do things like mountain biking. So, uh, that's my sales pitch for this piece of equipment. Um, I think it's gonna be a life changer, a game changer, changer for so many. And uh, but I hope it's a useless piece of equipment, and it just sits on my body because. Nobody wants to take those big balls. You want to win. You want to go big and uh, do it smooth. But um, you know what? It's so light. It's so comfortable. Uh, moving my head around really isn't a big deal. There's some like clunky noise, but I can fix that with like maybe some softer edging. Uh, you know, weed could change that. I don't want to hear clanks and clonks. Uh, maybe maybe the plastic's less clanky. This is carbon fiber. It's very rigid. What you're paying for when you get the carbon it's a little bit higher rigidity per weight ratio and uh you know maybe it has a different sound effect but overall i just did a quick rip around did bomb some trails did some quick turns i didn't even notice it honestly i kind of forgot about it the moment i was riding trails and i'm not lying like i've i've never been able to do a backflip and i'm gonna learn how to do one but um this could affect doing a backflip you know you just got to look back and whip it so um you know i'll give you some ideas kind of what this piece of equipment is like i am wearing elite body armor underneath and that helps clip it in hold it down now last time i broke my full face i flew about 20 feet in the air not even kidding 20 feet uh smashed my jaw on the ground that's when i blacked out and um i woke up as in the air still and uh, it was night so i could see the stars and then i blacked out again as i hit the back of my head on the ground and so when i woke up my buddy came up he's like are you all right man and i'm like fuck yeah i'm okay like did i hit did i hit there was a big steel pole next to me did i hit the steel pole and he's like no he didn't i was like okay i'm okay and so this is just one time i broke one and that's when I knew I was okay. I kind of did my thing. My ribs were floating around a little bit. It took many months for them to heal. I still deal with those injuries today. That's when I was in my early 20s. I'm in my 30s. I still wake up sore some days. And I know it's that fucking crash. So just every ounce of body armor you wear. That you feel comfortable wearing. Uh, this stuff, this new stuff is so light. It's incredible. You just forget that you're wearing. So, um, I don't know if you have any questions. The base, like, yeah, all the technical stuff on like how it works. There's lots of lead videos. Like, protects your collarbone. Your collarbone is designed to fail, actually. Um, that way, it saves your shoulder. Um, and you know, you can break your other uh, opposite collarbone if you hit the side of the head, where your helmet smashes into your collarbone. This protects that. So actually, less collarbone injuries. Um, this way is like it's just the force off the ground my friends it's force equals ma the little force um it actually only takes about five pounds of force believe it or not to break your neck five pounds of force so the reason why there's not that much force is because our muscles our muscles like are super strong we do workouts in our neck and that protects our skeletal system all right because it's, it's a muscular skeletal system and so muscles being stronger is going to protect you so you know just be strong uh but we can't always just be strong and that's where this comes in it adds a little extra strength and removes some of the flexibility and redirects the forces onto parts of our bodies that are stronger just like a backpack does like a backpack redirects that force onto our hips by having a hip belt right you don't want all that force on your shoulders even though they do have shoulder straps that's just to hold it against your body it's not to hold it up on your body so that's what a uh, waist strap does. And so this redirects those forces into parts of your body that are stronger. Um, it looks cool. It's, it's undeniable. But that, uh, that could be just, uh, you know, it also looks cool when you're, when you're riding more because you're not injured and you get to practice more. Um, what are the points should I know about this? Points to improve. I think 
think just maybe some of the noise. I think how it holds onto your body. Like that story about how my helmet broke and I flipped multiple times. I think like this comes with the ability to just plonk on from your body armor underneath. And then it also comes with the ability to do the underarm straps. Um, I think the underarm straps ultimately are where it's at. Uh, you know, if you take a, a barrel, like if you're flying through the air and you go multiple times, you're rolling down, you're going to want this thing. <laughs> you're going to want this thing just snug to your body and there for you. And uh, this little leet stuff is cool for like, uh, you know, the small, small medium tumbles, but anything big, you're going to want it strapped to your body. So that's my two cents on this piece. I'm going to ride it some more. If you guys want to hear some more reviews on it, uh, see me using it or something like that, just smash the subscribe and like and uh, leave a comment on, you know, what you want to see about this piece of armor. And uh, happy trails.